I'm always looking for ways to streamline and improve my workflow in some way, shape or form. And recently I had a teacher ask me about automating uh, awards of some sort. And so they have end of year awards and really this could be used throughout the year for lots of different purposes, but we're gonna talk about AutoCrat for teachers and how you can use it to automate uh, some sort of award. This could be done weekly, monthly, or even at the end of the year. But once you have it built, it saves you a lot of time. It just takes some time to build in the first place. So I'm going to start out here with Google Drive. And within Google Drive, I have uh, several tools that I need to start developing. So once I have a folder set up, which I already did by going to new, created a folder, the next thing I need to do is I need a Google Sheet and I need a Google slide presentation. So I'm gonna build those right now. So I'm gonna start with Google Sheets. And when I get to Google Sheets, I'm gonna name this right away so I don't forget. And I want a, a consistent naming process here just for getting things rolling. And then I'm gonna hit New and Google Slides. And I'm going to do Certificate Test Slides. Okay, so now I have the spreadsheet and the Google Slides presentation. So within this now, what I need to do is start building uh, my spreadsheet. And so the information that I'm gonna have it automate and populate in using Autocrat can be done by merely just deciding on what column headers I need. So for this award certificate process, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a name column and I'm gonna put in the award, what's the achievement for specifically, and then I'm also going to put the date. And so now what I need is I need some actual data to go with. So I'm going to populate these fields with names, awards, and dates. Here we go. Okay, so now I need to go to Google Slides and I'm gonna work right here within one Google Slide and I just need to make a template. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of these guys. So I like to use an invisible box to draw around the objects that I don't want like so. And now I have a blank template to work with. I'm gonna start putting in some graphics as well as a text box. And when I get to the text box, I will explain a little more. Here we go. Okay, now I'm ready for the text box and the text box needs to match the fields here. So I have a column header of name, award, and date. So I need to make sure that I have those actual words in these text boxes. So I'm gonna put a text box here and you can do multiple text boxes, it's fine. I'm just gonna do one big one here. Okay, so now I have this text field and notice that I have, in order to populate this automatically, I have it, these in greater than, less than symbols. It's gotta be two of them. So it, within these brackets, you put in the actual column headers. And by doing that, it's going to auto populate directly into this slides presentation. Let's get into this. So now that I've made my template, what I need to do next is I need to actually go and add Autocrat. I already have it, but to get it, you would go down to get add-ons and you can search Autocrat from here. Like so it's going to pull up Autocrat and then I would be able to download it and add it into my um, spreadsheet. And once I've added it, it may even ask for some permissions to uh, connect to your Google Drive account and make sure you allow those things. Once you have approved everything, you've added it on, and then you've also uh, made the approval to access your Google Drive, then what you can do is actually use it. So I'm gonna go into my add-ons and go to Autocrat and hit launch. And this is where we start building the automation. The first time you launch Autocrat on a spreadsheet, it's gonna come up with this because there's no jobs created. So I'm gonna hit new job. And then I'm gonna name my job next and then I get to choose my 
template. So I'm going to choose from Drive because I have it saved in a Google Slides presentation. And by the way, this works with Google Docs as well, but they've somewhat recently added the ability to do this in Google Slides. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it in Google Slides because then it's easier to uh, pump those out as a certificate. Once I have selected my slides presentation, then what's really cool is that it will then uh, start finding these tags. So with these tags, see how it says name, award, date, I have those set up, but it's not selecting uh, the correct sheet yet. So I need to switch here to merge tab to sheet one. When I do that, it's going to make the connection between name and name, award and award, and date and date. And I should be good to go. I'm going to now hit next and I need to come up with a file name and I'm going to say 2018 major awards like so. Um, and then you have the option of switching it between Google Slides and a PDF. I'm going to keep this at Google Slides and I'm also going to change this from multiple output mode to single output mode. Now there's a difference between these. If I do multiple output mode, it's going to create a separate slides presentation, a separate file for every single one. I don't want that. In this case, I just want it in one because if it's all in one um, Google Slides presentation, then it's easier to print. I can just print the whole thing. It'll print them and I don't have to open up several different files. It's just a lot easier. So if I'm actually going to print this or if I want to post it on my website, that's another fun way to use it. Instead of printing it, you could just use it as a way to uh, display it on a website. Uh, you could keep it as Google Slides. I'm going to now hit next. I'm going to keep it in this folder that I had created. It's nice because they automatically switch to or default to the folder that you were already in, but you can choose a new folder if you would like to. I'm going to skip the dynamic folder reference. I'm going to also set a merge condition. It's actually going to uh, prompt me to do so. I don't want to share this doc. And then when you get to add and remove job triggers, you don't have to do anything for this. Uh, if you were doing a Google form, you could have it automate in a Google form. That's a whole nother story. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at no and save. Now I'm ready to roll. And when I have all of my cells populated the way I want to, then all I have to do is hit this play button. In fact, if I want to keep working on it and keep adding people to it, so let me go ahead and just add myself just for fun. Okay, so now I added another person, that's okay. I go back to add-ons. When I go back to add-ons and I hit open, it's gonna populate with my previous setup that I had already done in the spreadsheet. All I'm gonna to have to do is hit that play button and it's gonna allow me to run this autocrat experience. So here we go. I'm gonna hit play, run job. And it has run. You will see that it has a link right here to a Google Doc. You will also see that it does not manipulate my template. It actually creates a brand new slides presentation directly in Google Drive. Uh, and there it is, it just made it and it put all their names in it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this award. And what it did is it made a separate slide presentation for each person. And then if I were ready to print them, I would just go to file and I would print. Okay, so now I have an award that's going to print off for every single person in my spreadsheet. And then that, or I can also just use the publish settings, the publish to the web, if I want to share this out with parents or put it on my website. Now, what's also kind of cool is that if I want to add to this spreadsheet in the future, I still can. It's going to, however, give me a brand new slides presentation. It's gonna not going to add to this existing one. So keep that in mind. It'll go to a totally separate slides presentation. So I'll demonstrate that real quick. I added those two students and when I hit the add-ons button, hit autocrat and run it again, it's actually going to create a separate document. Okay, I'll close out of that. If I go back to Google Drive, it will eventually appear there. It's just taking some time, but the other way I can get to it is if I click 
in the spreadsheet, it'll actually take me to that new award. And you'll see that I only have two here separate from the previous ones. And that's because these are in a separate document than these two. All right, so that's Autocrat and how to build automated certificates or awards. Uh, it's kind of a fun feature. You can do the same thing with Google Forms, having students populate a Google Form and, and have it pump into a spreadsheet and automate a whole slides presentation or a Google Doc from it. Lots of different applications for Autocrat, but this is just one example. And so once you uh, try this out, it might give you a little taste of what Autocrat can do and you can come up with some creative uses for it in the future. I'd love to hear about those. All right, thanks for watching.